Okay, let's get this pajama party started. Hello, I'm Tracker TD, and this is Sonic Lost World. And I need to turn the game volume down a bit. Probably not for the stream, just for myself. Let's have a gander. Playing with audio settings, playing with audio settings. I should have done recording tests before this, but I really think that far ahead. So just let me know how the audio levels go, and well, we'll take it from there. So yeah, Sonic Lost World. I haven't played this in a while, I don't think, so I guess we'll see how it goes. Let's just jump in with a new game. I wish they had save file slots. I still need to remove the just a moment message. I'll get that done in a minute. You have to swing back around for it. Predictable. He must really love those things. The animation in this cutscene is actually legitimately great. Sonic OVA style Whoa, shit. What's that in the clouds? That must be the lost hex. Cool. Less looking, more landing. All right, I can land this, but it's gonna be bumpy. Let me just tab out real quick while I get rid of that notification message. Be gone, just a moment, message. We don't need you anymore. Yeah, it is kind of weird how they just kind of like, it's the Lost Hex! What is the Lost Hex? It's the Lost Hex. So yes, this is Sonic Lost World, Sonic's parkour adventure yet. They were like, hey, what if we gave Sonic parkour? And everyone's like, oh yeah, that's a cool idea. And then they fucked it up. Because that's what Sonic Team does. I don't know why I'm running on the walls, but I think I just do a spin dash. But there isn't really much for me to say about this game itself that hasn't already been said by a million other people. Giving Sonic a run button is terrible. His turning arc sucks. Which carried over to forces. And I wouldn't be surprised if at half of this stream ends up being me discussing Sonic Forces again because obviously Sonic Forces was built on Lost World. Oh yeah, you're probably going to hear a dog barking a lot. My puppy gets very lonely. He does have people with him, he just still gets lonely. I mean, this right here is probably the best level in the game, and it's already got a slow-ass cloud platforming section that you can skip, I just put the wrong path and didn't skip it. There we go. I find the automation of hopping onto springs and stuff in this kind of weird so... Uh, this is the PC version. There's a reason I'm doing this. <laughs> That's cool. I'm glad they kept hunting forces. So anyway, yeah. Uh, this is the PC version. I do have the Wii U version. It's the first version I played. I bought it on launch day like the loyal little Sonic fan I was. And, uh, yeah. I remember pre-ordering this on my break from a work experience because I was on a placement at the time. I just went to get lunch and then I was like, screw it, I might as well pre-order this. No, no, Did you right. get those animals back from Eggman? Uh, just the one container he tossed off his Eggmobile. What? Wait a minute, just the one? <laughs> Weak. I would have gotten them all back by now. Save the rest of them. Hey, but, oh, I hate to think what Eggman's doing to those poor things. The same thing he always does. I'm on it. Yeah, the you can't judge until you play it mentality is 
stupid as hell. I just you can look at Sonic Forces and tell it's shit. And I did, and I did like six months before the game came out, and I was right. It's it's a stupid fallacy. It's the same thing with Team Sonic Racing. I can very clearly see that Team Sonic Racing has a lot of issues. Obviously, I can't make an absolute judgment on the game now, but I mean previews aren't helping. It needs to be a big army if I'm taking over the world below. You are quite a mighty conqueror. Yes, yes I am. I conquered you, didn't I? And with your help, I'll not only rule the world, I'll finally destroy that blue nuisance, Sonic. Eggman wants the little hedgehog destroyed. <laughs> yeah, well, I feel I destroyed something. That's what I like about you, Zaz. Always ready for a fight. Even before you know what you're fighting. <laughs> you bet! Bring it on and I'll rip it up! You know, considering I... Considering I uh, watch no, call it, didn't watch all the cutscenes in Generations, so I don't know why I'm watching them all here. Because this game's writing can get pretty bad. Like, usually I don't care about writing in Sonic games, but when I, when I last played this game, I was at points just distracted by how bad the writing was. Part of the fun here is me trying to remember which button does the kick. I think it's the bounce button. Why did they ultimate all the time? Ow. It bugs me how you have to be directly like... The, the homing attack in this game feels very weird. And it was carried, it's behavior carried over to forces, so it was weird in that game. So it, it doesn't feel like... It feels more strict with how you... Kind of, you have to be like facing the enemy in a certain way and all that to do it. It's just weird. I get what they were trying to do, but. Lost World, um, I'll, I'll give them the figure 8 running animation, I'm glad that's back, it's cool, but, uh, the game itself, yeah, I, I'm going back to this out of, uh, sheer boredom, rather than actually wanting to play it. That, and because yesterday was actually this game's fifth anniversary, and I played Sonic Generations instead, uh, I liked Lost World when I first played it through, but I still wasn't entirely out of my if it's Sonic I'll eat it up phase back in 2013. Wow, it was only five years ago and it's in that time I have become the angriest Sonic fan on the internet to most people. I actually quite like these tunnel levels, they're, they're alright. Since the cylindrical level design kind of, it, it makes more sense in a level like this. That was my intention for whatever I've done. When they could do cool stuff with the parkour like that, it's alright, but it's just trying to get the parkour to work. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. See, I really wanted to like this game because I was down for a more like free roaming style of Sonic gameplay rather than just boots. 
even though the spin dash is basically just a boost for the purposes. Yeah, my Wii U right now is just a GameCube. It's just a glorified GameCube. I need a bigger SD card for it. Oh, I forgot about the stupid animal shit. Uh, why did they bring that back? That's dumb. Uh, I should do Windy Hill. I, I'm only one animal off. Yeah, I completely forgot about the rescuing animal shit. Why did they feel the need to bring back on the style padding? That's stupid. From what I remember, it's actually kind of alleviated in this version. Because they changed the requirements to be lower. Which is alright, and they better do that if they put Unleashed. Uh... Can, I, I'm not sure, you can hook up a USB hard drive to the Wii U for GameCube games, but it's a uh, Finicon, and I couldn't get it working with my USB stick, so in the end I just used SD cards. Uh, I had a 16 gigabyte one lying around for my old PSP, so I was like, screw it, I'll put that on it. And so now I've only got two games on it, Mario Double Dash and uh, Smash Bros. Melee, so I'm going to swap it out of Luigi's Mansion, I think. I need to play Luigi's Mansion. That's what I should stream, actually. One of the next streams is probably going to end up being Luigi's Mansion. Sonic Islands is very, very cool. I, I really enjoyed Sonic Islands. I don't think it's perfect. I think there's certain things they could do with going back and improving, and it's optimised like absolute dog shit. But it's a good start, and I'm really excited to see where it goes. Oh, I've, I've not bothered with homebrewing the Wii U. It's like the Wii U side of things. I have homebrewed the Wii U. Uh, firmware, but I've not used it for anything. I just use uh, the uh, Nintendo or whatever it's called for the um, for the Wii virtual Wii stuff. Sonic Adventure Blast was an interesting one. I saw a lot of uh, people turning that one, and I was like, oh, cool. "Loops in 3D are an." Interesting thing. Loops in 3D. I think weirdly one of the games that got loops right in 3D was Sonic R. It's like you still need speed to go through them, but you're not going to get thrown out of them. But it's like a very loose spline. So it was kind of cool in that game. Sonic side eye though actually is pretty funny. I'd love to stay and watch him disassemble you, but I have business to attend to. You can do some really cool shit in Sonic Islands, and I really enjoyed it. I think it's a better application of parkour than this shit. <laughs> I know the perfect spot to take care of you. That's funny, because I know the perfect spot to kick you. All right, let's rock and roll. Time for some terrible writing. What the fuck was that? Yeah, please don't do that, Buzz. Yeah, Sonic's mouth has been uh, contested ever since Sonic Hedgehog 4 renders. Oh, I remember those days. I was so confused. I was like, what do you mean? I'm fine. And to be honest, that's actually something I've never, that's never really bothered me. People always complain that the lighting on Sonic's renders makes it look like he's got lips. And I'm like, I get where they're coming from. But I actually emulated that for my Sonic in Tekken thing to look more official. 
And I think it ended up looking kind of nice. So I was like, whatever. Sonic's got lips now. Good luck. To be honest, this is probably half the reason I hate this game so much. The 2D sections. They've got all the joyous physics that we love to hate in Sonic Forces. In fact, they're even worse here. Yeah, the 2D stuff just sucks. The Sonic in Tekken um, leak is probably my favourite, like, hope I've done today. And now I have Tekken on PC, so I could make an even better one if I have access to screenshots and shit. I could customise. Because I had a friend get the screenshots that I edited, and then I'll just pop Sonic in them. So I was kind of limited in what I could do, because I didn't have Tekken on PC myself. But now I have Tekken on PC, I can do whatever I like. Shame that Tekken PC isn't, as far as I can tell, very moddable. Uh, it's got De Nuvo, and uh, it might be a kind of shitty implementation of it, so... One thing I'm really annoyed about is that uh, Tekken on PC doesn't have the jukebox mode from the uh, PS4 version. Stupid, let me, let me play Heat, Hair, Shadow on every level. Something, something to yeah, paperclips. Yeah. And reprogrammed a supercomputer using dishwashing detergent and a toothpick. We get it, Tails. So fixing a propeller on a biplane? That's about as difficult as taking a nap. Okay, I didn't need your whole life story. A simple good to go would have been cool. All right. Good to go! Cool! <sighs> right. On to the next world. It's Sonic Lost World. Worldy world. Desert Ruins. I didn't mean to skip that cutscene, but I'm not exactly going to cry that I did. I thought it was double triggers to do the spin dash, and I did it the uh, left trigger. Go. Oh, I didn't need to jump over that, but we'll take it. Go! I can't remember my thoughts on the voice acting in this game. I don't remember hating it. At least no more than usual. I hate that boy. Oh. I forgot you can grab onto the ceiling though, because it's like the only moment in the game that lets you grab onto the ceiling. That works. There's a weird glitch. Yeah, you can do this. And it just ignores all the sand and shit, so you just go at normal speed. Except when you hit that. I don't get that glitch. It's weird. Ow. I really hate Orbanaut in this game, the fiery Orbanaut. Come on. 
I think it's a glitch anyway. As far as there is a uh, thing in the actual game. There we go. Sorry, just playing for it. Get off! I, I talked about my thoughts on the voice acting yesterday. I'm not actually that big on Ryan Drummond. I get why people like him. I'm just like... To be honest, a lot of my problems with Ryan Drummond weren't his fault. It was the voice direction, as I mentioned yesterday. But, um... I can't say in good faith that he's a really good Sonic when direction is just so bad. I just, I, I, I can't stand that era of Sonic voices in many ways, and now I just play on Japanese whenever I play Sonic Adventure. So I should technically be nostalgic for, um, how, for a drumming, because it was the era I grew up with, but I just can't muster it. You know who I like? I like Martin Burke from Sonic OVA. That shit's amazing. I am excited to see how Ben Schwartz handles it. I think he's going to be a really great Sonic. It's like probably the thing I'm most excited about with regards to the movie now. Oh, come on. I don't mind Roger's direction as Sonic. I know some people think he's a bit old, but with him constantly reflecting on Sonic's birthday and he's been fighting Eggman for decades and stuff, I don't mind having a slightly older sound than Sonic. I mean, he still sounds like a teenager to me, so I'm, I'm like, whatever. Just a different kind of teenager to uh, Griffin and Drummond. Well, again, I think maybe I'm just used to. Maybe it's just that I'm used to Griffith, Griffith, Roger by now, because again, he's been doing this shit for like 10 years, so I'm like, well, nearly 10 years. Sonic's writing, I think, is a separate issue, but... Roger doesn't sound like a 40-year-old when he's doing Sonic to me. He just sounds like a teenager, just a different kind of teenager. Because I think that whilst um, Greg Drummond's version is kind of like a younger teenager, I guess, Sonic just sounds like what I'd expect from like a college student or a uni student or something to jump on with, you know. I have a lot of uh, folks, and like, I know a lot of folks like uni and stuff, and some of them sound have deeper voices and stuff. I mean, even me, I've been told my voice is ridiculously deep for my age, so I'm like, yeah, I'll go. As for Sonic's age itself, I guess he is 15, but it's like, God, the way they've gone over it with Sonic's birthday and we've been fighting Eggman for decades and stuff, I don't really care if they make him, like, twinner. So, yeah, Sonic voice acting, it's always a fun debate. And that's just Sonic, I'm not even going into, like, Tails and stuff because of Jesus Christ, poor Tails. So many voice actors, so many of them suck. Yeah, sandwiches, we know, sandwiches. Oh boy, max speed level. I didn't even realise Tails' voice actors had changed at first, uh, between Kate Higgins and whoever the hell's doing it now. So I wasn't exactly gutted. At least the music here is good. This is probably like the best track in the game. Because I can never remember any of Lost World soundtrack except this for C-Box CQ. The one in the nice underwater level.
Okay. Uh, let's see if I can get that red ring. I didn't. I don't think I ever collected all the red rings on the PC version. I did get the. Uh, Hey, it's the Destructoid logo. Hello, Destructoid logo. Yeah, I saw that, the uh, costumes on it. I had a uh, Sonic R mod for this game or something. Oh, you're the worst meal ever. For the captain. What do I think of the parkour? In this game, I think the parkour fucking sucks. It's, cl it's clumsy as shit and it just gets you hooked onto everything because your instinct is to hold the run button, but that means you just keep clipping on ledges and shit. And then, uh, when you're climbing up walls and all that, you can get stuck or you just jump and then kind of jump to a halt and stuff. It's really finicky and shit, but as far as parkour itself goes, I'm not opposed to it because Sonic Islands, I think, has its parkour is way better than this because it's, it's just, it just feels more natural. Not perfect, but I think it's a way better fit than it is in this game. So I don't hate the idea of giving Sonic parkour. I think it makes sense, but yeah, in this game, I think the parkour is terrible. Power levels green, or about power levels stable. Ex I need to play Assassin's Creed again. I haven't played Assassin's Creed in a while. I remember liking the parkour and that. Um, go on, let's see. Dessert ruins the level that boils the piss of every Sonic fan ever. Well, not me. This is this shit's weird, but it's like the Lost Hexes is kind of filled as like this. It's probably the most Lost World thing in here. When I hear the damn Lost World, I expect shit like this. So. I guess people felt it was a bit, this was a bit juvenile, and I was like, okay. But I mean, in terms of this, this reminds me of kind of what Sonic 1 went for at times, where they were going for like a look, like an old CG thing. Like this looks like out of some 90s music video or something, and I'm okay with that. So, I, I, I get why people were upset by it, but I'm like, it's not Sonic level, innit? Sonic running through a big candy world. It's not that crazy to me. I don't know if I'd expect this in a classic game, I'd, because uh, while, while I did make the Sonic 1 comparison just now, Sonic 1 was still, like, Sonic 1 still based them all in, like, cities and natural environments and stuff, and ruins, whilst, blend, oops, whilst blending in the 90s CG influence, so maybe I'd make it a bit more grounded than this. I think Sweet Mountain is a better candy-themed Sonic level. But, um, because it's like a man made structure, like it's, it kind of contextualizes why the candy's there. So I get the complaints from that perspective, but I don't hate the idea of having Sonic run through a big candy world. That's one of my big problems with this game the fucking kick. Goddamn useless. Because sometimes you want to bounce attack and sometimes you want to um, bounce and it just does the other one and I'm like, shit. There we go. Sonic Colors is aesthetics and like the, the kind of level themes in that game. I friggin' oh shit. I, I love them. Uh, I just wish I loved... Um, yeah, but the thing with Music Planet in advance too is that while it was a big music world, like kind of big trumpets and all that weird shit like that, it was still a man-made structure. So, like, you could tell it was like someone had built it, like it was a plant. So I'm like, it's still a factory kind of thing. So I think that felt more contextualised. But again, I don't hate this, I just, like, I see why people had complaints. Uh, to be honest, that, the aesthetics and all that goes for a lot of Sonic games. I wasn't crazy about Forces' aesthetics or the, just the general presentation of it. I felt it felt a bit disjointed. But um, 
I, I, I don't like how this game looks aesthetically much. I do like how colours looks. I love how Generations looks. I like how Unleashed looks. I love how Unleashed looks. But yeah. Of helpful advice. Diet and exercise. Diet, three words. Hey. Whoa. Forces, forces look kind of bad. Like from a technical perspective. Um, from a technical perspective, it, uh, uh, in terms of Unleashed, now Unleashed is obviously a very nice looking game. It still looks. I can't say Unleashed look. Oops. I can't say Unleashed looks good in terms of the game itself because it moves at two frames per second and bleeds my eyes into fucking jello. Um, but you know. Yeah, it was a waste of the Hedgehog Engine 2. Interestingly, I believe it was found that the Hedgehog Engine 2's prototype was used in Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. I remember hearing something about that. And Mario and Sonic Olympic Games actually looked better than Forces. So, the joy of having good art direction. I think Hedgehog Engine 2 is a really good engine. It just needed to be used right, and it was not used right in Forces. Like, I've seen the, like, demos they've done for it, and it can do some really cool shit, and it's a huge leap over the original. They just didn't use it right at all. So I'm excited to see what they can do with the Hedgehog Engine too. I think they can make some really good-looking shit with it, and the fact that it runs at 60 FPS is really good. But on the other hand, then I remember that... The, uh, I'm not sure if this is tied to the graphics engine specifically, but then I remember that it uses the kind of non-terrain streaming shit for this game. Which made sense for this game because everything was tiny planets and shit. But it doesn't make sense for a, game, a boost game where you need like these big open environments, well not open, but these big environments to run through. So it just limited the size of the levels. And that and I think there was an object, an object limit. So yeah, it's, it's going to be weird to see how they go forward with Hedgehog Engine. So. God, come on. But I'm not going to rule it out, like, I'm not going to doom and gloom it entirely. I think Hedgehog Engine 2 could do some cool shit. Wisps! Oh, the only triage would use the Wisps. Everybody's favourite thing ever. I don't hate the Wisps. They're alright. They make more sense than Warhog and shit, so... Uh, they're just short, contextual power-ups. Okay, whatever. It's weird, I don't- I hate a lot of Sonic games, but I often hate the parts that most people don't hate, and then other people hate the parts I like, and I'm like, oh, crap. Oh. Um. Well, that was weird. Uh, I don't know what happened there. My, uh, whatchamacallit controller just crapped out. And it's crapping out again. What are you doing, control? Um, let me just check if it's uh. Sorry about this. Come on, controller, you can do it. I don't want to have to use um the apple and this. Even though I'll probably be a much better strategy. Oh shit. I do have to commend them for prioritising 60 frames per second to be fair. With Hedgehog Engine 2, with Hedgehog Engine 1, it's like, yes, it's pretty, Unleashed is art, blah blah blah, but I, I would appreciate the art a lot more if it didn't run as a slideshow. Especially when I was playing the PS3 version of Unleashed. Which people chewed me out for, they were like, you can't criticise Unleashed, you played the PS3 version. If they released it and they slapped Sonic Unleashed on it and it was a HD version, then yes, I'm going to criticise it. I don't care if it's on Xbox 360 as well. Buy me an Xbox 360. Uh, so, yeah. And to be fair, I have actually played Unleashed on Xbox 360 and it's still a fr it's still a friggin' slideshow. So, don't give me that shit. PS3 version's terrible. 
But I also survived the PS3 version of Sonic 06. So, I mean, I guess I'm a glutton for punishment. Right, if I could not die on this section now, that would be novel. Oh, the physics. They suck so bad. Hold run to win. God, this is like the one modern Sonic game where they don't only take half of your rings. They just take all. It's kind of hilarious that they had to do a day one... They had to do a fucking patch on day one, but they had to do a uh, patch just to add in extra lives, giving you... Uh, what do you call it? Lives. Which is just nuts to me. Something so basic and ingrained into platforms that they had to patch it in. The game was weird, man. Props for the Nintendo content, though, on Wii U. The Nintendo content on the Wii U was actually pretty cool. Yeah, that's, that's the, uh... That's the thing, people are like, you, you can't judge TSR now, stop it, and stop saying it looks bad. And then two seconds later they'll be like, I love TSR, I'm like, you're judging it, the only difference is your judgement. So if I can say, if I can say, if you can say it looks good, I can say it looks bad. Simple as. Ain't a one way street. Oh yeah, I remember that poll. Oh, here we go. I equip you with the most powerful mechs I can create. I even give you a giant sandwich, and you still disappoint me. Time for Sonic's hubris to get the better of him. I'm a compassionate hmm. man. That Pull shell looks like pot. trouble. Hold on a second. Sonic! Uh, I think that thing in Eggman's hand is gone! Oh. Eggman's shell is gone! <laughs> That was a mistake. Whatever. When is it a mistake to take your toys away? When it's the only thing keeping six angry Zeti from controlling my mechs, you moronic hedgehog. Strike, <laughs> 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 right, brother. Yeah, I come to think of it, they probably should have had like the quest in this game be to get the shell back. And that's why they're travelling across the world. It's time for useless tales! Oh, useless tails. He's been here since unleashed. Oh man, I should have listened to you, Tails. Oh, you think? This is both useless tails and bratty tails. It's a beautiful combo. Character assassination up the wazoo. So let's go to the next level. Tropical uh, coast. Well, this is one of the not entirely terrible levels. Oh, this is probably one of my favourite levels in the game. And I know it's not saying much because it's Sonic Lost World. Pretty much every level in this game kind of sucks because the game sucks. But...
I remember seeing a Twitter video of some someone pulling off some crazy shit in this level and it was funny as hell. And then I was just like, man, if only the game was usually this much fun. I kinda wanna go up though. I wanted to run along that wall, but because of the parkour controls, it's so shit, I just can't do that fucking bother. There we go. Only took me like five friggin' attempts. Ugh, this game controls the breath one. I do think, like, I, I don't hate the bad nick design in this, because they are basically just the old ones, but it's like, they did maybe over exaggerate a few things. Although they're better than forces, I'll give them that. Jesus Christ, Sonic Forces and Badnik designs are just fucking hilariously bad. Ugh, why does a double jump cancel your momentum so easily? It's just one of those things in this game and it just baffles it. Shit out of This, this game's physics are just a goddamn mystery to me. They're so inconsistent. And again, this is carried over to forces where more people I think recognise this. But, yeah. That's an insult to Nier. That is an insult to Nier. And I haven't even played Nier yet. Because I'm an uncultured swine. There we go. Ugh. This is like the jank I mentioned during Classic Sonic and Generations yesterday, multiplied by 11. I'm going to try and get through this section as fast as possible because it's slow and it's plodding and I do not care for it. I do kind of want to go for these lives. Props to them for at least giving Sonic a proper drop shadow in this game. I was playing Unleashed and I realised the Warhog doesn't have a consistent drop shadow because I wanted to push the graphics instead and that pissed me off. You don't push graphics to the point of compromising basic platformer rules like having a goddamn drop shadow. That is insane. I'm sorry Sonic Unleashed fans, but I am not one of you. I I have yet to play Nier, and I'll play it eventually. I do like Platinum games stuff. So it's like, I played Bayonetta, I played Bayonetta 2, played Metal Gear Rising. I should stream Metal Gear Rising, actually. And they carried over the loss of speed when turning to forces as well, which just felt like shit. I mentioned this during the generation stream, but basically what happened with forces is, because it's built on this game, Sonic has like two speed, two speeds when running, and it's just the two speeds from this game, but with the button removed. Okay, if it pleases the court, all those who think Eggman is a total bonehead raise their hands. Ooh, this game's writing. Yeah, let's just skip the cutscenes. I I can't be asked with this shit. <laughs> the game is depressing enough without watching every single cutscene. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a master. He's old. Great. People draw the Mario comparisons a lot, and I get. Oops. And I get why. But um, to me, this this feels less like Mario Galaxy beyond the planetoids, and more just like shit. Uh. See, I don't mind uh, Sonic Colors in terms of writing. I thought Sonic Colors was okay. It's just this game and forces. Fuck, I hate the writing in this game. It distracts me. Whereas in Colours, yeah, it was Saturday morning, but it's like, I, I didn't mind it, it felt alright in that game. I thought they made some decent jokes out of the theme park, just look. I didn't, I just, I, I like the story more. It's, I like the idea of Sonic and Code just running around a big theme park. So. Hmm. You, it's truly waste 
it or they got. Speed cannot defeat wisdom, Peter Hedgehog. I don't like this old dude's voice acting either. The way he reads his lines is really stilted and weird. Oops. Right, now we have to go and do it again. A quicker one. Let's go through this guy. Colours, I, I just, I, I don't mind the jokes, and um, they're not exactly like top tier comedy, but you know, just, uh, and at least they, they like contextualise them with like the sushi jokes and stuff, you know. And Eggman's uh, PA intercom stuff is fucking amazing. So it felt alright in that game. In this game, they're just telling jokes for the sake of telling jokes, and they all suck. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Some lessons can only be learned at the end of a boot. It's time to teach you those lessons. I'm trying to read the chat and play the game at the same time, and it's not going well. the uh, new homing attack makes some degree of sense, but it's also like one of the only moments where the new homing attack makes some degree of sense. So I'm just like still not on board with the new homing attack. Hey, it's not the third split in the community, you forgot the most important split. The people who want Sonic Boom back. Oh, oh Sonic Boom. Oh, that one. I'm trying to remember how to do this. Oh. Ow. There are plenty of people who want Sonic Boom to come back. Yeah, I've seen tons already. There's at least one person who's just like in denial about the fact that Sonic Boom is very obviously over. Like, there's just some person who was like, when I pointed out that uh, the uh, staff had all quit or whatever. They were like, no, they said the, the, the storyboards for season three. And I was like, where are the storyboards for season three? And they were like, they exist. And I was like, yeah, but where do they exist? And they were like, but they exist. And I was just like, these storyboards don't exist, do they? So, yeah. Sonic Boom is extremely dead. It's it's not coming back. I tested the blue one. And <laughs> For Sonic Boom, the show, I honestly haven't watched enough of it to pass judgement. But what I've seen of it, it seems fairly inoffensive, uh, what should I call it? I feel like stuff like the voice acting jokes, I feel like that's actually pretty funny, because it takes more of a, like, it's surface level to us, obviously, we're Sonic fans. But it's a kind of clever nod for, like, the, uh, it's the kind of shit I'd expect to see on Animaniacs. And I love the shit out of Animaniacs. So I'm like... But I think they did get a bit overly reliant on self-aware humour towards the end. Like, stuff like the Roger jokes and all that, yeah, okay. 
But then they just tried making Knuckles woke as shit, and I'm like, half of these jokes aren't even actually that woke. If anything, they're bad. So I'm like, damn. Give me more rings. The Knuckles feminism shit was weird. Not because it's Knuckles being feminist, but just because arguably he wasn't even being feminist. I don't mind fourth wall jokes, but maybe Sonic Boom didn't rely on them a bit much. If you want a really fun Cartoon Network show, I really love Amazing World of Gumball. And sadly that show's ending now, but it's had a good run, and I'd rather they end it now when it's good, rather than, you know, drag it out and something. I actually really like these grand rail levels. I watched a couple of episodes of Gravity Falls, but I didn't stick with it. But I like what I watched with it. I, don't, I just don't watch a lot of cartoons. I need to... I, I'm, I'm really bad at um, watching that kind of stuff. Because I'm just like, I need to be actively... I, I get bored really easily. I still haven't watched Toradora again since I first watched it. Because just sitting down to watch something... Is like a, it's like a commitment for me, especially if I'm just binging something. I know I don't have to binge something, but I need to be doing something, or I just get bored. So that's why I like video games. I don't know why I like these levels. Like maybe, maybe it's because it's kind of like a room game. You have to do everything kind of perfect. But uh, there's still like room for interpretation on how you move and stuff. So I actually kind of like these levels. But I definitely see why people don't. The first time through, they were hell. Maybe it's because these are like the only parts where you can actually get some fucking speed without the parkour screwing you over. I've heard of that, so, um, yeah, I'll take that with a grain of salt. Um, I was actually doing some 3D stuff for uni earlier on, uh, just very basic shit branding, but, um, Yeah, I, I I draw during streams and stuff. Something bad's happening. Whoa, what's going on? I don't know. It's like something I could watch cartoons for ages. I watched Teen Titans Go, and I was pleasantly surprised by that, to be honest. Because uh, I'd heard everyone on the internet turn Teen Titans Go a new asshole. And I was like, okay, this kind of show's going to suck. But um, in the end, I ended up quite enjoying it. Uh, I think most of, if anything, I guess, most of the anger from Teen Titans Go... It's probably directed to the fact that it's on so fucking much in America. Whereas over here, um, it's not on. It's, just, it's not on as much. They space things out, so I guess there's less resentment to it here. I need to do another level because I'm 100 uh, critters down. So, uh, um, fucking hell, run a Windy Hill 1 again. Um, what's a good level for animals? God, all of these levels suck ass. Alright, let's get some animals. Shame I haven't lost any of the, uh, watching the show I haven't lost any of the casino tents. Right, let's, let's just do a, uh, kill as many enemies as possible run, because then we'll probably be sorted for the next world as well. And then not going to back. Why am I going here? I looked at the chat for two seconds and managed to run into the giant open empty desert. Really, really hate those things. Oh, Steven Universe. That's one I haven't watched and I don't plan to. 
it doesn't look bad, and I know like a lot of my friends do like it, so it can't be that bad, but it's like... Like, even my more critical of everything friends really like to do that, so I'm like, I don't like to that I did miss a capsule, and I shouldn't have, but oh well. Oh shit. Ugh. Well, at least I've got a decent surplus of lives. 34 lives ain't bad. Oh, oh, oh. This is what I mean. I was just trying to do a fucking side thing. Oh, god damn it. Sega Ages! Finally! Something I can discuss. Um, yeah, Sega Ages, in terms of my hopes, uh. They've got me covered right now. We got Outrun on the way, we've got Space Harrier on the way, we've got uh Thunder Force 3 is on the way too, that's cool. The arcade version. Um Sonic 2 with a drop dash. I am not optimistic enough to think they'll bother going for Sonic 3, but it would be cool. It, it's just that because of how M2 going and modify the games, it could possibly fuck up. How the hell did I dodge that? Um it could fuck up the whole See, obviously nobody knows what the uh, legal issues around Sonic 3 are, but it's like... Uh, the, the legal issues around Sonic 3... The weird thing is that it was on Steam, but then it wasn't on the new collections, so that's kind of confused everyone. And the weirdest part of it all is Sonic Jam, which wasn't emulation. Sonic Jam on the Saturn was not emulation, it was reworked ports, and yet they got away with using the soundtrack and that just fine. So I, I don't know, because Sonic Jam released after the replaced soundtrack versions on the PC. So it's weird, I don't know what's going on with it, and I don't know if MC would be bothered with it. But to be honest, if, any, if, if Sega bother sorting it out for anybody, they'd probably bother sorting it out for M2. Because they love M2. So... And it'd be Sega Japan, so it's like... Who knows? The the working theory was that Sonic 3 re-releases taxman wise couldn't be done because the music couldn't be gotten for anything that wasn't an emulation because an emulation didn't require the music to be used in a new context. The music was just being used in the context of its original game running in an emulator. But the uh, new Sega collection has kind of thrown that out of whack because Sonic 3 wasn't on that collection either. People were like, what? So, I don't know what's going on there. And that's what could scupper it um, M2 ports, because M2 ports do go in and edit the stuff. And that's why I mentioned Sonic Jam, because Sonic Jam's like, sort of Taxman style port, yet yeah, use the original soundtrack. So it's all very weird, legal, mumbo jumbo, the only people who truly know are Sega and, uh, I guess, Michael Jackson today. So, uh, yeah, maybe one day we'll get the answer. Shout out to that kid of the F South by Southwest panel or whatever who uh, asked about that and the look on his weaker space was or I don't know the space prices. Uh yeah, Virtual Lump has been uh, announced for PS4. I'm very happy about that. Because I fucking love Virtual Lump and getting force and making it not exclusive to a Japanese Xbox 360, which shows sure like a rare than a fucking dinosaur. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with it. How can we uh, get Idle Master releases? Um, yeah, I'm okay Yeah, Taxman ports on PC is really neat to happen. To be fair, someone has ported Sonic 1 into Sonic Mania, that's alright, and I'll play it through that, but no. Especially since we have Drop Dash. I need to try that actually, yeah, someone ported the entirety of Sonic 1 into Sonic Mania. And it looks really surprisingly faithful, they even went in and redid some of the assets to make them more Mania style. So I really like that. I'll have to check it out at some point. Maybe I can stream it. Maybe if we've got time after this we'll go and stream it. That'd be cool. Oh, Force was region free. I didn't know that. Huh. I think the cool thing was that for the remade music part of the Sonic 1 in Mania mod, they actually used uh, T. Lopes' rearrangement to all the music.
So that was, that was pretty cool. Oh yeah, Sonic Triumphs here. I keep hearing about that. It's taken a while, but you know. Time is almost over, Crash Hedgehog. I shall prepare for you a lesson in... Oh yeah, I remember that Steve Newberg problem. That shit was weird. I can obviously get why it was controversial. But, yeah. I'm baffled that he made it into that art book. I don't get this. What, what's the connection? Why is the pineapple scared of Sonic? So damn fast. Oh, go that way. Long way. Oh my god, come on. There we go. Oh god. <laughs> Great. Now we have to do it all over again. Oh, so much. Uh, I don't know. In terms of creators, I probably don't know much about them. Like, enough about them to say. Like, whether they're good or not. Well, I, I can't really tell the best of that. It's a really popular show that a lot of people love. I, I feel like Stephen Potter's... Like, I've not watched it again, so I can't comment on the quality of like, my personal opinion of Stephen Universe. But from what I've seen, it seems alright. There's done some cool shit with that show, like getting a representation and stuff. It's really nice. I'm always down for that stuff. Now... Okay, KO is one I've not checked out. Okay, KO seems pretty cool. Again, I just don't check out many cartoons. A lot of them take ages to come to the UK, and I, if I'm watching cartoons, I actually just watch them on Cartoon Network because, or at least I did. I think we actually got rid of it out of our TV package, so I don't even watch that anymore. So, whoops. Oh, come on. Okay, this time let's try not to kill ourselves. Yeah, I can't really speak to that art book thing that got happened. That was just weird. Although I don't think it was actually drawn by her, so I can't. I can kind of like. I feel like, as well as Rebecca Sugar, the owner should be on the people who published the book for not realizing that as well. That's just that's just just weird. The only thing I don't like about OK KO uh, Glance, I feel like some of the animation can be a bit. Nah. I'm not crazy on the style. It's not even that it's like, ooh, Cal art style, which I still think is the dumbest shit ever, but it's like, just the style of it feels kind of inconsistent and weird at times. I can sit down with good cards and watch it. I still like Adventure Sonic the Hedgehog, I'm not the last check anyway. I don't like Sat AM, I don't like the Sonic Sat AM cartoon. That shit just took itself too goddamn seriously. Yeah, weirdly I like the Fleetway comics, which did the exact same thing. I don't know, maybe I'm just weirdly biased. But, um... Yeah, in terms of bean-shaped heads, it's like... I, I don't think it's any different to, like, in the 80s, where everyone was just a fucking... Muscle Man caricature. He-Man and Scooby-Doo and all that. hanna burr -Bur as cartoons often look, end up looking the same. So I just see it as the next stage of that, essentially. So I'm not, never, oops. So I'm never too miffed about it. IDW Sonic! Oh. <laughs> God damn it. IDW Sonic. Um, yeah, I've been reading the IDW comics. I really like them. I think they're really cool. And seeing Silver shout, oh crap, was very fun. Oh my 
Damn it. Yeah, the IDW comics have got off to somewhat of a slow start, but um, I feel like they're getting more into it now, and I'm excited to see where they take it. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun reading it. I missed that chat point, and I really wish I hadn't. Oh man, please don't kill me, physics. I mean, that's how it should work. I like Ian Flynn on the games would be pretty cool, and I would be down for that. Uh, that's probably the funniest line in this game. Maybe I'll still have time to go clubbing. Yesterday, Ian Flynn went through how Sonic characters would react to the Canada Weed news. That was pretty great. When's the 3DS version? I have played the demo of Sonic Lost World 3DS, but that's a... And apparently the demo level of Lost World 3DS is the only good level. So. Whatever, I told you, we can handle the Zeddy by ourselves. That may be true, but the rebellious swine have gotten hold of a device of mine. And they're using it in ways for which it was never designed. Uh, what was it designed for, Doctor? It was supposed to extract energy from our world, but the machine is unstable. Once it reaches full power, it can't be shut off. It will drain our world dry. Oh, so that's what Amy was talking about. And you just want to go smash it, don't you? <laughs> well, yeah. Uh. What? It's what I do. Oh, always your answer to everything, Hedgehog. If you wish to create a cataclysmic explosion that will incinerate everything within a hundred miles, please smash away. So, there's no off switch? No, not anymore. I need to get to the machine and reprogram the shutdown sequence. I'll supply the brains. You will supply the brawn I need to get past the Zeti. Oh, and you're asking so nice. <laughs> Good one, buddy. <laughs> Thanks. Shut up. Right, uh... Why was I watching the cutscenes? They suck. Right, okay, on to crappy ice skating world. Oh boy. Why the hell are the, um... What should I call it? Casino tents? I think you need red rings from Dunga. Oh, I'm gonna do some Santos. You're pretty... Yeah, you see. Uh, I thought I'm missing something. But, uh, whoa. Oh god, the ice skating. Oh, oh, oh. This game's controls are bad enough without ice in it. Oh, oh on the wall. If I could remember where all the red rings in this game were, I would probably would have ended up collecting quite a few of them because. I don't remember them being that bad. I know some call me Johnny, I swear to god he had post-traumatic stress disorder for collecting all the red rings. And I was like, they weren't as bad as colours. And I've never got all the red rings in colours, I just couldn't be asked. Too light on the wisp powers and I just can't be asked with using like blue cube for one specific bit of the level just to do a thing and oh no. Uh, well thank god I made that jump.
I got all the red rings on the Wii U version. It took a decent while, but I did it. And I was like, oh my god, Super Sonic. And they didn't fix his double mouth for this PC port, so good job, Sega. Yeah. Oh god, yeah, the casino level. I remember spending like half an hour on that shit. <sighs> that one was not fun. Oh wait, this is a looping one, isn't it? Oh, I'm getting Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. I remember this game from Everse integration being a pain in the ass, and that's one thing I can say is nice about this version. I could never figure out how to turn the Everse shit off. Or maybe I did, and I just didn't bother because I was an idiot. Um, Younger Tracker wasn't the smartest. Oh boy. Whoa, overcompensate much? Man, how many military factories does a guy need? If you weren't always destroying them, I wouldn't need so many. And done! Ah, thanks for fixing me! No problem. Sorry you got stuck with a voice chip that looks like it was built by a two-year-old. I think I liked it better when I was trying to destroy you. Yeah, well, feelings mutual, egg face. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Before we start destroying each other, let's remember why we're working together. Okay, please remind me. Tails, we need Eggman to shut down his machine. And you don't trust me to do it! What? No! I trust you, Tails. It's just that... No, you don't. You trust Eggman more. You know how much that bites? I do trust you, Tails, but the whole world's in danger because I did something stupid. Do you know how much that bites? Actually, nothing bites more than having to listen to this dreadful conversation. I sympathize with that one. You bite! Ugh. This fucking writing. Usually I do not give two shits about Sonic writing, but this this game, I give the shit about the writing. Okay, it's time for that one, the one for all the Rule 34. Okay, let's play Katamari Damacy, everyone. That's an insult to Kat Kat Katamari Damacy if there ever was one. Oh god. Oh, I forgot the run control still kind of apply. That's, that's stupid. If that was the worst dialogue in Sonic, then this is the worst level in Sonic. And it's annoying because I think this could actually be a really fun level if they just made it less shit. Which I mean, it's kind of obvious. But... No. Screw this. Screw all these bits, especially because I placed checkpoints after all. It's cute the way he keeps on trying to get past all the death traps and enemies and stuff. I think he kind of likes me. I don't remember who voiced Xena. Wait, did I just? Huh? I didn't know you could activate those without actually like activating them. Weird. Go 
Go away, Starlight Bombs, I do not like you. No, oh, no, 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 no. Try going through this as fast as possible. Oh, that was. Why do I keep spin dashing? This was not a good idea. 28 lives. Let's see how many I have by the end of this shit. What? The, the missiles insta kill you? I thought they just bounced you around. Screw it, let's try going past again. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, whoa. Okay, we'll take those. I'm getting Billy Hatcher vibes right now, and those are the worst kinds of vibes to get. I was watching my friend uh, Zuko play um, Billy Hatcher the other day, and uh, to a point, it made me want to play it. But then I would kept watching and I was like, yeah, I'm not playing Billy Hatcher anytime soon. It just looks dire. Oh yeah, it's just Flandre it's in the chat. Hell yeah. Weirdly, I think the casino shit all looks more integrated here than it did in the horses. Where it's supposed to be integrated. A mistake. It's Robot Faker. Go, 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 go. Just think, Robot Faker, we could have been streaming Tekken right now, but instead I'm playing Bob Sonic games. Unless you're in university, which I mean, might be the case. That's why. I should have been in university today, technically, because there's some big conference going on in There's some big conference going on in Manchester. And I was like, though everyone was like, hey, we should go to this thing in Manchester. Oh right, yeah, I forgot you can do that. Uh, I guess we'll do that then. Uh, and I was like, okay, big conference in Manchester, alright. And then they're like, oh yeah, by the way, it's 34 quid for the um 34 quid for the, uh, whatchamacallit, conference, and I'm like, okay, yeah, maybe, maybe I won't go there. I don't even remember that line. I they really just wanted to do the stereotypical bit for shit. Oh, oh, please, no. Okay. Who designed this level? Oh god. They made an avocado toast joke. Funny, funny, ha ha. Oh, you're adorable. And that day, rule 34 got about, what, what 10 new entries. That's being optimistic. And that was being really shitty. Um, no, come on. Oh, no. oh, no, 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 no. Please. Oh, god damn it.
I don't know, this is probably the easiest for me. Okay, I'll take a lot of stuff in there. I'm glad you remember the important things in life, Lander. Oh, god damn it. There we go. The pain is over. Whew. That was cool. Pun entirely intended. Your efforts are impressive, little hedgehog. But you are destined to fail as the fat fool has failed. From eating your black hearts, you Eggman wannabes! Ooh, edge. Edgy, edgy Eggman. As your mustache. I must commend you on your invention, though. We get stronger and stronger as we leech the light from your dying world. Yeah, I've noticed. Where are you gonna live when your world's dead, guys? Oh, right. You've been dead, too. <laughs> I will burn your worlds, you rebellious scum! I will destroy everything you love and make you rot! No! No! no. Boss, your hands! As long as I can still strangle a Zeti, my hands are fine. Ow, oh, the end. This was Pontac and Graf looking at all the uh, complaints about Sonic not being serious enough and said jacking it up to 11, wasn't it? Right, okay, let's go get this extra life. I think the map controls suck. Good news, Robot Faker, you have not missed that, and if I accidentally skip that cutscene, I'm gonna cry. So uh, let's hope I don't, because for some reason the skip cutscene button is mapped to the very easily pressed shoulder trigger. Suddenly the egg crawls are back. Whoa, I don't even remember that one. Unfortunately, you reminding me of that cutscene is just reminding me of how long I actually have to go with this gear. And that's just depressing. Though. Let's just sit here for a while, shall we? Kind of interesting that they actually use Miles on this instead of Tails. That was only the case in the Japanese version of Sonic 2. I'm in gacha hell anyway. Thanks, Idle Master. Oh god, I need to go and redo another level. Um, shit. Uh, let's go, dude. Has the ruins too? Fuck it. No, Desert Ruins. Uh, yeah, let's do Desert Ruins too because you get a ton from this one, don't you? 
I played Puyo Puyo Quest for all of a week. I got a Draco uh, Super Rare, and then I was like, okay, I can stop playing this game now. I've got Draco. And then they gave everybody free all anyway. So, like, whatever. So now the only gacha game I really play is Idol Master, and I don't even really play that. I just go on it whenever there's an hour. I always super, super rare rather than try and get it. Usually fail. <laughs> The only annoying thing here is that I have to do the boss again. And the boss, this boss sucks. So I'm like, great. I'm just gonna pick up some extra lives on me. I will say, this grinding, uh, like for the animals, it at least isn't as bad as uh, Sonic Unleashed. It doesn't take as long, so I'll, especially in the PC version. And, that and the surface tends are the to mitigate it, I'm just sick of blocking them. Okay. Uh, alright. Yeah, I probably should have done this to uh, You get a phone. What, what, what the fuck was that? I mean, worse. Just that. You guys saw that, right? What the fuck? Oh man, I can't this believe he made it this far. He's gonna make me look Oops, bad. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Okay. I mean, worse. Just that is impossible. You know, I just have to remind myself, this could be worse. I could be playing Sonic Forces, but on the other hand, I'm not sure if I, uh, what should I call it? I'm not sure if I hate this game more than Sonic Forces. I might do. In fact, I probably do, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Right off the edge. Sorted. At least now I can get some extra lives again. Hooray for responding extra lives. He's gonna make me look bad! I mean, worse? This day is impossible? Wow, you're barely a snack! Let's get this over with quick. Yeah, I have a. Rather than, like, individual ratings, I just have a tier list for Sonic games. And it was very controversial. Because on my list, I was like, well, what the fuck am I gonna put on Leaf after I played it? I played it. And I was like, well, oh, shit. I have to go uh, early above forces. It felt really harsh, but I was like, I was so bored during Unleashed, I was just like, screw it, I have to go there now. Sorry. Uh, Oh, I haven't played Secret Rings in a, a very, very, very long time. And I don't intend to. I think I don't even have a copy of the game anymore. And I, it wouldn't feel fair if I did it with an Xbox controller, so... Does this mean no dessert? Sonic Heroes is a game I despise on so many levels, and I have been over it many, many, many times, so I shall spare you the details. God, imagine what happens when I actually play not Sonic games on this stream. We'll get to talk about things that aren't Sonic. It'll be a miracle. Uh. Yeah, okay, let's go. Where's my battery? Oh, the Orbanauts in this level depress me. I love Orbanaut. Orbanaut is one of my favourite badniks ever, and they just made him shit. I don't know, I don't know why Orbital is one of my favourites in this game. Oh. I'm glad they brought back Penguinator. Penguinator is too cool for only doing one game. All I want to do is cheat, but here comes that fashion. 
I'm thinking at some point this month I might do a Halloween stream. That'd be cool. Play Luigi's Mansion. I haven't played it in a while. I don't want to go back and play it again. And it'd be nice timing with the new 3DS version. Although I'm not playing the 3DS version. I was like, a bit crap. Look at all these enemies I'm supposed to be destroying and I'm just walking past. Well, at least the music isn't bad though, which is mostly forgettable. Oh. When am I playing through the classic games? Uh, yeah, I don't think I ever have actually streamed. Just playing through all the classics. I probably should at some point. I think I've streamed me playing Mania a couple of times. Or at least a Mii 2 mod, which I still need to finish. Um, yeah, I, sh I should be working on the Hatsune Miku mod right now, but, um, you know, I, I am very irresponsible in my time. I don't know, I thought Sonic Wonder's soundtrack was alright. Um, Otani is really good, he's just... I don't know what the fuck boss is. He got one. I really like Otani's stuff. I don't think it's as good as Sanua on a good day. But, um. You know. I think it's okay. When he does do some really good pieces. Like, Otani's best stuff is easily some of the best stuff in the series. Unleashed isn't my favourite soundtrack, mostly because in terms of the soundtrack itself, half of the fucking music is just reworks of the world adventure, the main motif. I get that having a motif obviously makes sense, but god damn, when it comes on shuffle, I'm just like, please, no, turn it off, put on another soundtrack. I don't want to listen to the world adventure for an hour. So, yeah. That was a But in terms of like the level themes and stuff, yeah, Unleashed is fucking incredible. That's the thing with Sonic, with weirdly the exception of forces. Uh, the soundtracks are always good. At least from, they've got lots of good tracks on them. That's what I'm most excited for with Team Sonic Racing now. The soundtrack is just a new act. He's back on guitar, doing all the good shit. Yeah, I think there's something timeless about the classic uh, soundtracks. Um, mostly probably, uh, especially Sonic 1 and 2, Masato Nakamura. I mean, I fucking love Dreams Come True, so I am always down for what is basically more Dreams Come True music. But, um, yeah. I, I, I love modern soundtracks as well. I think I probably end up listening to the modern soundtracks more than the classic ones. I think it's just a general listening. I prefer to listen to the modern soundtracks. And that's the nicest thing I can say about modern Sonic compared to classic Sonic. <laughs> because other than that, I've basically just manifested into a classic Sonic fanboy. I listen to Manias quite a lot. I wish the Mania and Forces soundtracks, even Forces, yeah, I wish was on Spotify. It's weird that they're not on there yet, and, uh, I, I, I don't know, I'd like bits of Forces soundtrack. It'd be nice to add them to the playlist. This bit's cool, but also so heavily automated it doesn't really matter. 
I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of the very cheesy vocal themes and forces. It's like classic Sega nonsense. I just, I love it. It's, it's the kind of shit I'd expect to hear in like a really crappy Sega, well not crappy, but really cheesy Sega arcade from like 1998. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I can get with this. Boom. Easiest boss in the game. Now you're dead. Not all of the vocal tracks in Force of the Good, though. Guardian Rock hurts my ears. I am getting tired of lugging your head around, pal. So I made you a snowbot body. <laughs> I can't feel oh yeah, they're legs. nowhere near as good as the actual 90s Circus <laughs> songs, but I don't mind them. It reminds me of Fantasy Star Online 2's vocal tracks, and I dig those as well. Genius, Dr. Eggman. <gasps> but this does give me an idea. Yeah, we don't care. Yeah, I just like bits and bobs of the soundtrack. I mean, nothing compares to, like, Daytona USA and all that. But, you know, they're alright. Sonic is more formidable than I anticipated. Yes, he would make a powerful slave. Eggman taught us how to make robots. So we'll make the Hedgehog a robot. Excellent plan, Master. <laughs> I'm sure... I do not care. Yeah, exactly. But you, you can't compare anything today to Daytona US on. Except Mania, because Takanobu Mitsuoshi's in that game. Oh! That's how they salvaged Team Sonic Racing, by getting uh, Mitsuyoshi as the announcer, like the Japanese version of ASR. God, when that got revealed, the competition footage, and everyone was like, hey, what's this announcer? And I was just like, it's Mitsuyoshi, you uncultured bastards! And everyone was like, this announcer sucks, and I was just, I was Steven. I was just ready to kill someone at that point. You don't diss Takanobu and Mitsuyoshi. It breaks my heart, Mitsuyoshi has been on a Sonic soundtrack once. And it was Sonic 06. That was... Depresses me on a level unlike anything, uh, unlike anything else. Yeah, as far as I could tell, like the one. Okay, he has done more than that because he did like vocal versions of Sonic the Fighters and stuff. But Missy Yoshi provided the backing vocals for the Tropical Jungle track in uh, Sonic 06. And, uh, yeah, that's basically one of the few things he's done. Yeah, it's. Uh, uh, Sonic the Fighters was Makimoro, who also did games like Rail Chase. So, the, but um, Mitsuyoshi did help out on that, and that's why he did the vocal version. But uh, but yeah, the, the thing with the thing with uh, the Mitsuyoshi track in Sonic 06 breaks my heart because it was actually a collab. It, was, it wasn't just him on the choir. There was also uh, it was. Takanobu Mitsuyoshi on the male backing vocal and on the female backing vocal, Miho Fujiwara, who is an incredible uh, Japanese artist, made uh, the California Crisis soundtrack, which is an obscenely good uh, OVA soundtrack. And now, Miho Fujiwara is fucking amazing. They got her on Sonic, and it was wasted on 06, with Takanobu Mitsuyoshi on the same track. That breaks my heart. There will never be a missed opportunity quite like that. Yeah, he was. He, he was. Uh, I mean, to be honest, what should I call it? Well, Mitsuyoshi supervised everything, pretty much, on the Model Two. So I mean, it doesn't surprise me that he was involved with Vice. But Makimoro, I think, was the main composer. And you can tell because Rail Chase, which Makimoro also did, the soundtrack to that just sounds like Lost Fighters tracks. I'm going to shut up because it's the best cutscene in the game. Something's not right. Huh. Must have missed this one. Sonic, it's a trap! Tails, no! Those rotten, sneaky... Tails acted for the greater good. Let's make sure his sacrifice isn't for nothing. I'm supposed to be the fastest, but I was too slow to save my buddy. 
There it is! There's the best line in the game. God bless this mess. Tails is fucking dead. Aaron Webber didn't lie for once. You're not supposed to vocalize the actual hey, word sign. What? Did you do with what? Seriously? We captured you. You wish? You grabbed my friend and I want him back. Man, this day keeps getting lamer and lamer. Whatever. I gotta go tell the others the bad news. <laughs> Giving bad news is actually the one thing I enjoy. I'll deal with you later, loser. Time for stealth, Metal Gear Sonic. Oh, God, I hate this level. Why the Sonic 3 and Knuckles bad mix? What the fuck are you doing there? Maybe all the enemies in Death Trap will finish Sonic, maybe they won't. Does it really matter in the cosmic scheme of things? Yeah, it's a good job, you bro. Oh, go, go forward. Go forward. Fuck. Oh. That shit made more sense on the Wii U gamepad. See, it says follow the music. The music is such an absurdly shitty rhythm that I can't follow it. Like, th this ain't Project Diva. It's, 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 it's... God damn it. I keep pressing triangle thinking it's the wisp button, and it's not. Alright, let's actually try and press the right button this time. Yeah, when are they making a Sonic Rhythm game? That needs to happen. There was one at Surge, where Kratos was kind of a dude. And I was like, oh great, you made the- you made- literally made the Sonic Rhythm game I mocked up. And it had to be made by someone who was kind of a dude. I'm like, please kill the other guy. I like how he doesn't like explode or anything, he just kind of falls over and then explodes. Yeah, I am baffled they haven't done a Sonic Rhythm game yet. The one thing people generally agree on with Sonic is that the music is good. Yeah, I wasn't crazy about Project Test myself. The fact it took up a gigabyte was fucking ridiculous. Stealth, here we go. Right, we're going to spend about half an hour on this section because I hate stealth.
Are you gonna move? No, oh god. And of course, the second I do that, you move. Go! Okay, we hit chat point, okay now. Just give up, Sonic. It's what I do. As a matter of fact, I've already pretty much given up on hope, happiness, success. David, what am I still doing here? I should just crawl. At least I referenced Bridge Zone. Yeah, that was actually my first fall on um, Sonic Force when I got to the last of Sonic Rapid. I've already like... pretty much given up on hope, happiness, success. Not to think of it, what am I still doing here? I should just crawl back into bed. I wish I could crawl back into bed instead of playing this hmm. shit again. I suppose we're gonna have to fight. <laughs> I still like you, Sonic 18 bits. This is like just such a blatant like obviously yeah, obviously is what they were going for. Really, really blatant uh, caricature of uh, the emo personality, but it's so outdated. I'm like, Okay then. Oh hey, another tube level. I actually like these ones. And now, Sonic. It's time for um, how come he's not blue? <laughs> you incompetent fools! I cannot trust you with the simplest of tasks. Alright. We can work this to our advantage. Somebody messed up royally. Because we don't have Sonic. We know! <laughs> okay, Tails doing the fucking salute at the end was funner. Uh, right, let's roll. See, the thing is, I know I have to kill the enemies because I need to get the animals, but it's so slow and tedious. And I'm just like, especially with how they made the homing attack have so much wind up, and I'm just like, killing badniks does not feel rewarding in this game. So you're less inclined to do it. I'd rather just walk past them all. But, obviously it's part of the game. So I'm like, I can't. I have to go kill them. Shit's dumb. Bad game design. Yeah, I, I'm still confused as to why Zabok was in forces other than Mario Kishimoto being really proud of this game for some reason. I'm surprised the Deadly Six don't appear to be in freaking teams on a race. Like, not in a bad way, man. Yeah, I, I was actually watching some clips of a Mad World recently and it looked pretty fun. I was like, what why the hell did we get stuck with Sonic right in this crash? 
guess Platinum Games just held me to a higher standard. Who wants to take the really stupid path over the red ring? Let's take the stupid path. Trying to work out how the hell this shit works was a murder. Just pulling teeth. I probably won't even get the red ring because it's so specific. Let's give it a go. Hey, I got it. I remember this being like the one red ring that everybody struggled with because it's just so goddamn weird. There we go. Lost all my rings. Is this even gonna work? Oh wait, I was supposed to say that for this, but wasn't I? I don't know, I don't really mind the fact that they like use samples more than once in the work. I mean, Hideki Naganuma has used the same samples from what you need on Sonic Rush. He has used those samples so many fucking times. That's still a piece of shit. Did it really just take that red ring off me? God damn it. Oh. Damn it. There we go. Maybe it's not so bad. Why did I waste my spin dash though? I really hate that the spin dash doesn't work on ice. I kinda get why, but it's annoying. Why? Ugh. Oh. Okay. Mommy. It's been ten years. Let him use the sample again. I mean, I didn't recognise it, and I'm a joint fan, so I'm like, it's kind of nitpicky. And I fucking love Sonic TV soundtrack, so. Nope, nope, shit. Sure. Right, we're not taking that route anymore. Sucks. Can't be asked. Let's just go straight. I think Otani makes enjoyable music, nowhere near as good as Nakanuma, but you know, it's like, I mean, at that point you kind of compare apples and oranges. Okay, maybe not in both this case, but... Otani excels when he's got kind of bigger band sound to it. So shit like Rooftop Room and all that. Like, that's the good shit, right, look. Easily on par with something like Sonic Zero. And even Hataya's not ex not immune to some shit because he did the classic music in Forces and that stuff was shit. Um, in fact, I'd say Otani did better. Son of a bitch. I'd say Otani did better than um, Hataya in a. Uh, what should I call it? In Forces on the whole. Hataya's got one good song and that's Ghost Town. And the rest just kind of suck. Nap FM arrangements. They should have got Chibi Tech to do it. Get Chibi Tech on a Sonic game. I am. Whew! Hope you didn't come here for demonstration of skill, because I'm not getting it. Right, let's do it perfectly. One clean, perfect one. Again with the random hovering robots. Oh my god, fantastic. What just gone? Why, did, why wasn't the parkour working like five minutes ago? I like how I was like, I'll take the other route because I can't do the like, red ring route, and in the end the red ring route was safe. No! Son of a... Oh, bollocks! I am very tempted just to hit that. Uh... I don't even think it's the instruments that ruin the classic songs, because they actually do some cool shit in Ghost Town with the FM. Like, in Ghost Town, that bit at the end where it just goes... That, that shit is some fantasy zone shit. I love that. But, uh... I'm like... The rest of it, just... No. It sounds unfitting. It sounds amateurish. Yeah, use Okashiro, for Christ's sake. He can do FM stuff. Have you heard the stuff in Etrian Odyssey? Like, yeah, the FM rearrangements? That shit is godlike. I'm just like... Why well, didn't get use Okashiro to do Sonic? No.
Whereas if he had hit Tire, he'd probably say it wasn't Splash Hill, it was that one level from Thunder Force 4. I'd probably accept that answer, to be honest. There's a bit in Thunder Force 4's first stage where it, the music basically just becomes Splash Hill Zone. Except good, because it's Thunder Force. Thunder Force is one of the best sounding games on the Mega Drive. Oops. Oh wow, I actually had enough animals. Oh boy, I hate this level. I didn't mean to skip that. Uh, oops. Oh yeah, Thunder Force 4 actually absolutely has competition, but I think Thunder Force 4 is at least one of the best sounding games on the Mega Drive. I mean, otherwise I'd probably just end up giving the nod to Sonic, because Masato Nakamura's tunes are so fucking good. But, um, yeah. And then if you count it in 32X, we've got uh, Virtual Racing Deluxe, and I'm like, Mega Drive had some good sounding games. Knuckles KOX as well, of course. But, um, Thunder Force 4 soundtrack is just obscenely good. The credits theme in Thunder Force 4 is just so good it should be illegal. And I am extremely excited that Thunder Force is getting a vinyl release now. Like, if there were ever a game that deserved a vinyl release from Data Discs, it was Thunder Force. And uh, so I'm very excited to see that. What's that? We made a game with really shitty 2D platforming. Why don't we make a level that is entirely 2D shitty platforming? Thanks, Sergo. Oh, yeah. Enough of these guys. Yeah, actually, this is from this is a cool scheme from Metallic Madness. Well, at least it's very similar. I guess. You can even say Wacky Warbench, to be honest. They really like the blues and the good futures in that game. I would stream Sonic CD, but then you just see me cheating all the special stages. I actually do like how the silhouette style looks in this game. I like how that still hurt me anyway. Very nice colours on display here. It's cool. I even like I like I like how Sonic's figure eight still shows up. Wow! That was almost actual speed though. Too bad it was all automated. Which granted is the modern Sonic code of honor. Stop listening to this douchebag. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, knock on the top seat. Oh, there we go. I remember killing this boss in like one hit once, and I don't know how. <laughs> and this time he killed me in one hit. Yeah, kill him in one hit, so... Even then, the multiple paths that are in sources last about two seconds. So it's not really much of a... Uh... Right, I'm gonna be straight back. I just need to uh, get a drink. I'm parched. Which isn't a good mix with talking. So I'll be right back. My computer sounds like a furnace right now, which is pretty impressive considering all I'm doing is playing Sonic for fucking Lost World. Um... Right, okay, let's rock and roll. Sky Road. At least we're getting towards the end. <sighs> the music here, the music here is pretty nice, actually. Hey, little chaos. Oh god, those stir segments are the worst because it's like they want you to use the parkour and not use it at the same time. It kind of accentuates the issues I have with the parkour system. If you're just holding the wrong button, you just kind of throttle up them slowly into me. Oh, shit. Yeah. I do not care about these numbers. Oh! What was that? Um, did the sides of those things just not have any food? Oh, he's back up. Was the parkour system needed? The answer is, of course, no. No. What happens to just having smooth control? Sonic can do some parkour shit in um, Sonic Adventure, try hard enough. That being said, I'm not totally, like I said earlier, I'm not totally against the idea of a parkour system. I think Sonic Island does it kind of nicely. Not perfectly, but nice enough. I can't believe that worked. Um... Yeah, basically I think the reason they gave Sonic the run bit button, or at least the PR reason for it, was um, that people had complained about controlling Sonic. Uh, uh, in Sonic Generations at like low speeds and stuff, so they're like, well, why don't we just make it so that you can choose the speed you go out with a button, which completely defeats the purpose of Sonic. Well, well done. Right. 
Oh boy, the one reason I do not like the wisps. Actually, I, I don't mind the wisps. What the fuck was that? Um, great. Yeah, I, I just really don't like the eagle wisp specific one. Controls like absolute shit. Especially on the Wii U version. This thing is fucking uncontrollable on the Wii U version. SRT's uh, flying control broke up. Aha, we're fucking with the gamble. Sky Road, more like Windy Valley, Windy Hill. So, so. This shit makes no sense to me. I like how we thought we I said the same thing just before you did, Scarlet. We, we know. It, it's, it's just windy. I really hate these cloud bits. So slow. Oh come on, the timing on that was ridiculous. Camera angle here randomly reminds me of Knights, and I'm not sure why. Speaking of which, I might actually do the Knights DLC, just cause. I think some of the Nintendo stuff was modded into the PC version. I know the Link costume obviously was, but actually the mod was one. Yeah, the fact that Sonic's current representation stage-wise in Smash Brothers is this if game and Green Hill. It's kind of trap. What? Shut up! What kind of question is that? I didn't mean anything by it. I just thought it might be better to work for you than Eggman. Hello, I'm sitting right here, you know. Orbot, no matter what happens, I won't fail again. I will save Tails. It's stuff like that that makes me want to be your sidekick. Tails is lucky. No, seriously, I'm right here. I can still hear you. That cutscene was passable, other than Sonic's very wooden. I won't fail again. Yeah, you don't need to talk like that, Sonic. It's just weird. That's less on Roger and more just on the writing. Hello, Sonic. Yeah, I've been looking for you. And we've been looking for you. Unfortunately, we found your friend Tails first. Hey, you heard one hair on his head! Well, don't worry. We're actually making him better. He'll be much happier as a robot. <laughs> no! Wow, Roger had range in Sonic Lost World. Amazing. Yeah, I thought the delivery though was okay. That no was actually fairly well delivered. Yeah, this is not Roger's best performance by any stretch of the imagination. I outran the Sturge. <laughs> So now I'm doing exactly the same thing. Watch you 
Oh god, the crappy 2D physics. Yeah, Forces' his voice acting I thought was pretty weak, especially from the modern cast. Like, okay, I guess that doesn't really reflect well on the modern cast. Because I'm like, I'm like, Roger's kind of awkward in this game, and he's kind of awkward in the game afterwards. Sonic Boom is where Roger really came into his own, I think. I think Roger's delivery and stuff in Boom is great. Uh, and I didn't really mind that he kind of started playing Boom, Sonic's voice, to modern Sonic. Which people complained about. I thought I was alright, I just thought in Forces... But in Forces, everyone's kind of naff. I thought even my Bollock kind of slipped a bit in Forces as a voice actor. So, yeah. Choke another one up, Sonic Forces, doing something bad one. I will show you my full strength. Oh god, how you failed so badly! It sounds like he's losing his voice halfway through. I'm like, damn. This fight makes no sense. Oh, God, I don't know. It's like the Egg Viper, but shit. And then he just drops the connection, I guess. Roger doesn't usually sound that bad to me, but in that line in Force in particular, yeah, he sounded out of breath. And it was weird. Ugh. Get up though. What? Why? No! Why did it not homing attack? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Please, it work. No! Ah, why is it always stopping at that one? I don't get it. Go, go, go. Eat! I oh. Am I doing something? I have to be doing something wrong here. What the fuck? So what if I just stop? Okay. Oh Fine one. And that was one hit. I guess it was because that one was lighting up, but I don't know. Oh god, can you just die already? There we go. Ugh, god, that was shit. Um, right, well, we got through anyway. Why does Sabok have a. Oh, I don't know. Being a robot's not so bad. From where I'm sitting, it is a nightmare. Who thought that putting this bucket brain's head on me was a good idea? Well, that was a pointless cutscene. Let's continue onwards with Sonic Lost World. Oh boy, now I actually have to kill enemies. Ha, uh. <laughs> I have to kill enemies and it's a shitty flying level. Great. If I die a lot in this level, it's just going to be because I'm trying to kill all as many enemies as possible. So I don't have to go replay another level. Maybe I should just go for the red rings. Yeah, but Sonic's not allowed to fly the tornado, even though it's his fucking fly. Why does he stay dawdled for so long?
Well, those enforcers. I'm infinite use them, doesn't it? What's more puzzling is there is a sky chase level in this, but it's just used as an extra thing. No! Dead ring. It's annoying, you can't attack in mid air like you can't do any damage unless you're descending. It's baffling. And you don't get any animals if you knock them out that way. So, great. It's weird, I remember not super hating this level, but now I just despise it. I could have easily got all the red rings on that level, god damn it. Sonic flies to Tornado in the intro manga of Sonic 2. That shit's cool because it gets a nice scar. I can't remember what to do in this bit. Oh, right, right. That bit's actually pretty cool. Bright white screen of death. Yeah, I still haven't unlocked any tents on uh, let's just do Windy Hill again. Probably enough enemies here. You can now probably hear a pop on. That is my pop on. Being a very barky boy. He's not angry, he just hates the nerves. Well, hopefully we don't have to do too much more of this grinding shit, because I he hates it. Again, it's not as bad as Unleashed, but it's still annoying. You shouldn't have to grind in a Sonic game. The concept is absurd to help with the shit over here. That makes my life a I don't have any of the red rings on this level, I'll screw them. I can't do that. I'm not going that way. Uh, I hate the crumbling platforms in this game because they basically just lose normal collision detection the second you run over them, which means you can't like save yourself. It's annoying, like many things in this game. Get him. Uh, this is a heads up, there's probably going to be a tea break coming up. It's chippy night. Oh yeah, that's... Yeah.
Hey, I hit the exact total. Perfect. Now I'll have to grind again later on. Oh wait, we hit 100 over the total somehow. Okay, we'll take that. Um, there's a world map feature, I'm sure. Yeah, okay. I'm not crazy. Uh, Sky Road. Oh, I remember this level being crap. I love the terrifying fusion of CG and in-game cutscenes. Storing on the word but is very, very out of place. One by one, your friends are falling. Soon, you will be all alone. <laughs> but it sounds like I'm just ragging on this game like brutally, and I'm just like, yeah, the game sucks, but don't take all of my criticisms as super serious. Even if they should be. This game does have a lot of serious, serious, serious problems. I only stuttering during the word, but this is one of them. I just found it funny. Suddenly the Sonic Adventure 2 goes to back. I remember seeing these dudes back when I played the Wii U version. I was like, what? Why? Look at that. Usually when I think about the problems I have with this game's controls, this is the level I think of. Because there's that one part where you have to climb up all those stairs, and if you do it with the parkour, it's like... Oh, I forgot about the instant death pit shit. Thunder just then? I don't mean in the game, I mean outside. Mm. That's what makes sense. Oh, right, I thought you can still take damage. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, I hate the rhythm with. I hate the rhythm with. Oh, I have that. If, if they make, you know what, maybe we don't need a Sonic Rhythm game, I don't think I trust Sonic Team with it anyway. And again, there isn't a lot I would trust Sonic Team with at this point. No, we got a Sonic Rhythm game, we should have reskin a Puyo Puyo Dark on the Sega Dreamcast. And then I rue the day I ever asked for it. Right, we're not going to use the Rhythm, let's fucking suck. Actually, yeah, give me Puyo Puyo Da Sonic, and it, Sonic's just wearing a shitty beanie hat and everything. It'd be perfect. Go, Sonic, go. Okay. Yeah, I would I would love actually a proper Sonic Rhythm game. Just have Sonic and Code Dance. Be cool and shit. You don't even have to do like Symphony Drive or yeah, Project S where it's like in the game. Like I would just take a Sonic dancing game. Sonic does dancing so goddamn much and all like his Sonic battle moves and stuff. So the only thing Sonic does as much as he does run with his legs is dance. So, a Sonic dancing game would make a lot of sense. No, that was stupid. I wouldn't even need to have a story. There's only dance Sonic music. Fucking man. Oh no. I remember this bit being shit. Just to reach the one setting. Cannot defeat. I 
Zor would say, what? Oh wait, shit, I'm probably fine around this. Oh, okay. Yeah, if Persona can get a dancing game, where the hell is Sonic? I love people who suck in this game. Oh, here's a bit that made me hate the parkour. These friggin' blocks. Oh, God. It's like the one time the game wants you to release the parkour button and just climb up shit like it's a normal Sonic game. But at the same time, you feel like you're doing so very sluggishly because you've not got the run button held down, even though in this case, just jumping up and walking is faster and also shittier apparently. <sighs> Time, let's not fall off this. Oh, oh, oh. I wasn't holding the button though, I just did the parkour anyway, like uh, we mentioned earlier. Oh yeah, Fate Leagues. April Fools next year is gonna be an experience. I have no idea what the fuck to do Ugh. Charging up the home attack does not make any fucking sense. Do I need to kick it? I think I might need to kick it. Yep. If at first you don't succeed, give it a kick. Why am I not following up on those kicks? Light shows, have it. Uh, 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 oh god. Uh, I think we're nearly at the end of the fight. Now, don't break too easily. 
Forces fake leak for the PlayStation thing, that shit was hilarious because of how close I got. But hey, at least my idea didn't have a uh, whatchamacallit, no seal. This boss would not be as bad if Sonic's physics in 2D weren't completely fucked for own belief. Jumping over stuff and dodging is just so slick. Electrocuted. Oops. Yeah, the idea was you'd be able to like send classic Sonic or other characters after like threats in the level. It probably wouldn't work very well, but I would just fireball them. It's not like Sonic Team make good ideas. Don't break too Tell them they do. Oh. I'm just gonna wait for him. Oh, well, I don't think he's gonna do that again. Damn it. I did not plan this. Now I kick him, right? No. Okay. Ugh, the charging shit is so dumb. Okay, come on, charge. Oh, we go. Looks to me interesting. Oh, well, that sucked. Um. Oh well, final world. Just a moment. So I'll give you a second, guys. Sorry about that, just had to <laughs> sort out tape. So, uh, yeah, I'll be having a tea break in a moment. Uh, I'm gonna have my fish and chips now. So, uh, there's Tails. A friend has embarrassed me for the last time. You will be the instrument of my revenge. Yeah, it'll be fun to have your little buddy scramble you like an omelette. <laughs> so, omelet. I'm gone. It'll be fun to have Sonic scramble you, so they expect that the instrument of his revenge is going to fuck up anyone. Good job, good good writing. I built a TV out of paper clips and reprogrammed a supercomputer using dishwashing detergent and a toothpick. I'm not even gonna need the detergent for this one. <laughs> So that was Tails being Sonic Lost World Tails. Wow, it's quite a drop. Yes, yes it is. Oh! Ah! You guys are going down. This energy machine has made us way stronger. Ah! <laughs> Eggman. 
They're evil because this game needed villains, apparently. Time for some revenge! <laughs> right, master. We don't care. Let's just fight the fucking douchebags. I've got the message to boss with. Can we beat this game before I have to? Beat you like a drum. The answer to that is, of course, no. So it'll be like an awkward ten minute gap and then I have to beat the game. I'm gonna... Oh yeah, all the lava in this level is insta-kill. Yeah, Sonic Galaxy. This game wishes it was even half as good as Mario Galaxy. I'm having a wonderful time, Saturn Memories, as you do with Sonic Lost World. Wow. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, good. There's no chat points, so uh, yeah, we have to fight all the other dickheads again. <sighs> oh, let's just skip the intros. Be fine if he wasn't underground for so long. I'm glad we're trying to close the speed bar, I don't know. Oh fuck, right, just die already! If you can't tell, I'm having a wonderful time right now. The chargeable homing attack is the stupidest shit in this game. Okay, maybe we should actually plan and strategize for this fight. Fuck's sake, are you shitting me? Oh, god damn it. Why can't he just randomly repel the whole thing? The boss is gonna beat me! Oh, 
Oh, come on, Jesus Christ. Okay, can we please kill this guy this time? I didn't intend to spend ages on the friggin' boss rush. Oh, thank Christ. <sighs> Wasn't that wonderful? I will take, gladly take another grind rail level after that shit. So I remember how hard these things are. At least the music's good. You know, small miracles. Even these levels aren't free from physics, fuck you. Oh. Sonic Lost World is the epitome of a well-designed game. Sonic Memories, I'll have you know. Truly one of the greats. I'm not getting enough height off that friggin' loop jump though. If this was a classic Sonic game, I would get enough height off that. So you can't grab the fucking thing. I'm gonna have to go farming for lives again at this race. It's weird, Colours did technically have the replayability and I can give it that, but at the same time I never actually went back to any of the levels. Yeah. I felt like using the Wisp Palace was slightly more tedious than that one, I'm not sure why. Maybe it just didn't like this. But I like how those guys kind of look like they're gonna fly up to the top of the screen, and then they just go. Another great design thing. Yeah, look, they just kind of freeze though. It's like they're trying to go off screen, but they just don't. I like the uh, cutscene to generate a it, bro! Why is it that sometimes you can't bounce and sometimes you can't? Uh, I, I pressed the bounce button though and I did not bounce. Uh. Okay, that's true. You, did, you didn't say it was good replayability. Yeah, that's fair. That, that's fair. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, I did, I did not mean to press jump though. Yeah, the bounce just is really inconsistent with these levels. Like here, I should have been able to bounce. 
What sense was that? Why, why did I say damage though? I was on a different plane. Oh, 2D Sonic Lost World shit. Makes me sad. And then they carried all of this shit to forces. And I was like, oh. Why do I do these things to myself? We'll stream Sonic Forces one day when it goes on sale. Again, it's on sale right now, but I can't bring myself to part with 10 quid for the joy of playing Sonic Forces on PC. I probably won't even put on this ring. I'm only rocking a 7 6 stuff. I didn't press double jump though, what the fuck? Oh god, I can't stop. Uh. I couldn't even see Sonic on the screen just then. Oh crap, I thought that was the end. Are you kidding me? I don't know why I thought I could jump that, I just did. Oh that! Why, why did I try it twice? This time let's actually take a different path. Mr. Lonely. Forces is already 66% off, which is hilarious. I'm not sure if that sells Storm actually. Um. It's only a couple of pence more than Mania right now. Don't be so whiny, man. That's my deal. Give up now and join your friend. Tails? Oh boy. Mechatiles. Man, when I get my hands on you guys, we promise you will be happy in our sins. I'll never serve you. I was hoping you'd say that. Yeah, I think six plant off his What? Look at that stormtrooper. Good to have you back, Kales. I'll take it from here. And that was the only useful thing Tails did this entire game. Great. I looked at the chat for a second and just completely missed that. Great. Let's try that again with less death this time. Especially since we're getting close to the end. I'm probably going to go for a tea break like right now. Just as we're getting to the last level. So that's what I can't remember. Anyways, yeah, don't know what the hell it was. Oh, no. Hold, hold. Go, 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 go. Oh, right, it's the run button. What a weird button to map to. Alright. Oh, is fucking dead. We murdered him, he's dead. He'll show up in a spin off people will question the cannon. Alright, I'm gone. Okay then, I'm going to go for a quick break, guys. So yeah, we'll see you in like ten minutes or something. Uh, do, 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 do.
do, do, do. Just a moment. So yeah, let's put on some music while we're here. Uh, I'm just going to play the same playlist from yesterday's stream. So uh, I hope you like old Sega Arcade music. <laughs>
lo and behold, we are back to finish the suffering. Because that is what this game is. So yeah, let's get back to Sonic Lost World, shall we? We're in the home stretch, thank Christ. So, yeah. That was where it was. Go, 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 Seriously still here? Why would you die? Ah, like a cockroach with horrible fashion sense. What? Okay. No flowers. Oh Christ. Next I should play a good Sonic game. Well I played a good Sonic game yesterday. No. What? No flowers. The problem is, uh I was gonna say I'm limited to what I can play based on what I have on Steam, but I have like every Sonic game on Steam that isn't forced which of course is so. So yeah, I do have plenty of good Sonic games. The problem is they're all classic Sonic games. That's not a problem, is it? I could, I, the, the thing is, I could play Sonic Adventure again, but I've already streamed Sonic Adventure quite a few times. So I'm like, I mean, it's like on a speed run. But yeah, I'm thinking at some point I'm going to stream Luigi's Mansion on Halloween. So that, that'd be fun. Look at that hedgehog with all his trying and positive attitude. It's people like that who are wrecking this world for the rest of us. Oh god, the sooner I can get out of this game and stop hearing these guys talk the best of me. A modded Sonic Adventure 1 playthrough, that might be interesting. But the problem is I actually had a shitload of mods on when I last streamed it. Oh right, I forgot this game has no idea what to do for. Um, I think I think my last playthrough was actually a um a Japanese uh, translation mod one. I can't remember. Uh, I guess I could play SA2, but apparently there's people working on Dreamcast Restoration Mod for SA2 right now. Or at least trying to work on it. So that's going to be really interesting. Can they make it so that Security Hall sucks less again? Dreamcast version of Security Hall is a lot nicer. Yeah, I replay SA1 a lot. I've already played it, like, last month. That might have been this month. So I mean, yeah. Do you realize how meaningless we all are? Well, play some non-Sonic stuff. That would make logical sense. Yeah. I should I should stream some Model Three games. I've done that before, but you know. Cool. Maybe we should stream Spike Out. What the fuck is he doing? No, my rings. Oh shit. Oh god no. Yes, rings. Okay. Oh, right, yeah. That's cold embrace. A Sonic Heroes Dreamcast conversion mod. I, uh, I have a mod for Heroes that adds in, uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, oh shit, what do you do? Alright. Oh, well, that went well. Does that thing respawn? No. Right. No, get going. Oh, fuck sake. <sighs> get this work. I should play Spike Out and just show you how crap I am at it. It's not that game. It's just I'm really, really bad at it, and there's no good like tutorials for it online because it's mostly arcade exclusive. I play Sega did a really good playthrough of it, and I don't know how he did half a team in that one. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! I don't want to run out of lives. I'm almost on the final boss. <laughs> I 
I hate this game's physics, they just do what they like. Um, right, okay, I do want to do these because I have a feeling the final boss is going to be just to be a dick. That was it. To be fair, this is actually a problem I had with Infinite as well. Infinite's threats in uh, forces are so laughably poorly written. It sounds like he's just, he's like a paradox. And I know Sonic Team are not self-aware enough to have made him a paradox. So it's like, great. That ineffectual Eggman was right. You are like a I think the moment that sealed Infinite for me was when he's like, what should your gravestone read? The blue moron! Or something like that. And I was just like, come on dude, this is like fucking primary school level insults. Let's put an end to this. Bowser. They were really, really, really blatant for this. I don't think it was so much the Saturday morning cartoon route, so much that it's just the writing is bad in general. Saturday morning cartoons can have good writing. It's time to fight the final boss of Sonic Colors. I mean Sonic Force. I mean Sonic Lost World. Nice work. Now it's time for me to do my job and shut this baby down. It is off. Who could have done that? <laughs> me, of course. I needed some alone time to supercharge my mech after you got me past the Zeki. Faking my death was the perfect way. And now. My ultimate weapon is complete! Finally, with the energy collected from the extractor, I can rule the world! Pity about the damage done down there, but there's still enough left for me to conquer. The only thing that's gonna get conquered is your face, Eggman! <sighs> right, let's do this. Oh, thank Christ, I have enough animals. See, I knew stopping to collect those capsules was a good idea.
What a stupid design decision. Lock off the, uh, whatchamacallit. Lock off the final boss until you have a ramp in the mouth of handles. Oh boy, we're playing Toho. This, this level is kind of stupid because like there are red rings but you're not on like a looping track, you literally just have one opportunity to collect them. At least the music here is good. This is actually a really good final boss scene. As you can see, this is the most challenging final boss in Sonic history. Especially with the amount of homing attacks you need to do with two standards, it's going to be too early. Because of the auto charging homing attacks. Too. Oh, come the fuck on! It got pissed in this corner either. Well, that's a good start, isn't it? There's no recall. I don't remember if they actually give you any more rings. Oh, they so I guess that's where the difficulty comes. No, they do give you in, which is really, really annoying to get. Worse than the force, his final boss. Even though they're basically the same thing. And there we go. Well, that was Sonic Lost World. If you can't tell, I don't like this game very much. It's a bit shit. You know you never needed Eggman, right? I could have turned this thing off myself. Sorry about that, Tails. I'll never doubt you again. It's cool. Oh, and here's something that even Eggman couldn't do. I just reprogrammed his machine to return our world's stolen energy! In your face, Eggman! I'll be back, Sonic. I'll find another conk, and the Zeti will be mine once again! Only next time, I'll make them stronger. 
<laughs> Honey, why isn't my jetpack working? Maybe because I borrowed the exhaust hose? <laughs> Sonic! Here's your energy back, world. Bon appetit! Cube trees! Thus defeating the purpose of Lost Hex looking weird. Because <laughs> cube trees. Yeah. <laughs> hey Amy, looks like springtime's come early. <laughs> Thanks to you and Tails. I would have wrapped this up sooner, but eh, what are you gonna do? <sighs> you know, after a day like today, I can enjoy a nap on some fresh green grass. I forgot Knuckles was in this game. So yeah, that was Sonic Lost World. The game sucks. It really, really, really sucks. I think it's above forces on my tier list currently, and that is not going to be the case for long, because holy shit, I just reminded myself how bad this game is. So yeah, please don't play Sonic Lost World. It's not worth it. And uh, yeah, that's the stream, I guess. And we can't skip the cutscenes, so, or the credits. So we get to listen to Wonderworld, I guess. So, uh, yeah, that was a fun stream. By fun, I mean painful. Don't know what the next stream's gonna be. Again, I keep saying Luigi's Mansion. I'm not sure if I can be setting it up, but we'll see. Uh, and it probably won't be tomorrow, because I'm in work. God bless. But, uh, yeah. I'm probably just gonna end the stream here, to be honest. I'm not gonna force you all to watch the credits. So, uh, at any rate, thank you for joining me on this wonderful quest of Sonic Lost Worldness. And uh yeah, I'll see you around for the next stream, whenever the hell that is. So uh yeah, see ya.